your son Don't need a gun to get respect up on the street Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family Yo guys, Spyro here and welcome back to another video Hope you liked that intro, it was something different Basically I did the bottle flip thing the other day and I got to made it land it on its lid which I thought was really cool so I thought I'd just add it in this video. Instead of doing a story video I thought I'd do a different type of video. It's basically like a school drama video but not really drama just like things that just happened in my school that I think it would be cool to like address. So the first drama story thing takes place around a week ago. It was like last Friday and it was second period in my school and on my geography table it was me, Ethan, Jack and Sean and before I get into the story Jack and Ethan don't like the majority of people in my group excluding me and a few others so we were in geography and we were just talking about random things and I overhear Jack and Ethan talking about something like 95% sure I'm gonna punch him I didn't know what they were talking about at first so I just ignored them but then I hear Pacey and so Sean asked something like why are you gonna punch Pacey and they say something like something like Pacey was following Jack's sisters and saying her name in sarcastic ways and Jack also had a piece of paper that had Pacey the pedo written on it I thought it was quite funny but also a bit childish so then Sean says how do you know that he did that and your sister isn't lying you're probably pulling lies out of your asshole but they responded with something like that the, sis that the sister never lies and to be honest I didn't think that Jack was actually gonna punch Pacey but I'll get onto that later so it's break now and we're all sitting in the blue covered bench bit where we usually sit and we see Jack and the people he, hang out, he hangs out with come over and in my mind I'm like crap shit's about to hit the fan so Jack comes over and says something like Pacey what the hell do you think you're doing why were you following my sister home and saying her name and Pacey was like what do you mean I didn't do I didn't like do it so then Jack was like Pacey if I were you I'd stand up but Pacey didn't and Pacey kept saying why would I stand up if I haven't done anything so then Jack did that sort of like pissed off laugh face and I think Pacey wanted to put like crisp in his mouth or something and just before he could you hear like a slap sound like so that meant like Jack punched Pacey and I heard like people saying that apparently he like quickly walked off and then everyone was there with, which was literally like half my year just watched and then someone from their group was literally like Pacey just took it, like, you know, it didn't even affect him. So then it was either the end of the day of the punch or the end of the next day. And the majority of the people that were there were called up to Reach, which is... No, it wasn't Reach. They were called up by Reach to, like, a classroom. And I wasn't called up. I was literally one person away from Pacey and I didn't get called. Which I was sort of released about because it was the end of the day and I just wanted to get home. But I was sort of annoyed about because I was literally there and since I'm friends with like both sides I wouldn't be biased towards anyone but even after that they're still not friends and apparently Pacey's dad went over to Jack's house and started complaining or something and apparently the story was changed into Pacey following Jack's sister home and then it was changed again to Pacey following her around in the school that's all I know so that's the end of the first story so the second story is about my friend called Jeffrey, which isn't his actual name, and my used to be friend called Barry, which isn't his actual name either. It's the Barry from the first episode of Storytime, and I won't explain why me and Barry fell out, that can be for another story video. So Barry and Jeffrey were literally yin and yang, if you ordered one, you'd get the other two, basically like buy one and get one free. I don't know when, but my friend Harvey's girlfriend who hangs out with Harvey and is literally like a couple of metres away from us, thought that my friends were talking about her. So she said something like, what did you say about me? I heard my name. And we were like, we literally didn't say anything because we hadn't. And she kept on insisting we tell her. So then Ethan, a different Ethan from the one, the story before, went up to her and said that Fred, which is a guy in our group, called her a slag. And holy crap, have I never seen such rage before. She started screaming stuff like, how dare you call me that? And then Fred was like, I didn't say that, Ethan's making up shit. And then she screamed at Ethan saying, I don't care if you were joking, you can't call someone that's not a slag, a slag. And then she was like, what if I called you a rapist even though you weren't, you hadn't raped Amber, which is his girlfriend. And you replied back saying, well I'm not a rapist and shit like that doesn't get to me. So then later on that day, Barry and Jeffrey got into, 
So then later on on that day, Barry and Jeffrey had gotten into an argument over mess Messenger. Jeffrey was saying things like, I've been friends with her since nursery, why would I not be on her side? And then Barry said things like, stop being a lick ass. And the argument carried on. I don't know everything that happened because I was literally just told about it the other day. So then it was the day after the argument and bearing in mind I had no idea. I was walking to the place we all sit at with Henry and Michelangelo, which aren't their real names. And Henry says to me where we sit is going to be awkward. To ask why and he says to me that Barry and Jeffrey had fallen out. To ask why because I thought they'd never fall out and since they were yin and yang. So then Henry tells me that I says it was sort of over me. And I knew what he meant, and I was literally like, for God's sake, Barry's gonna think that I made Jeffrey th say the things he says. Which I said before, I won't get into, as I'll save for a story video. So I sit down, and I see Jeffrey being really blunt and looking annoyed. And I was like, crap, Henry wasn't lying. Usually Barry and Jeffrey would talk, but this time Barry was talking with his friends, and Jeffrey was on his phone being silent. So then it was in English, and I asked why had them two had fallen out, and he said he'd tell me when we walk up to fourth period. So we're walking up and he tells me, he also said the thing about me and how he brought it up and I was literally like, for God's sake man, you should not brought that up, that makes me look like I made you do that. And he responded, he responded with saying, nah, trust me, it doesn't. Or something like that. It was now lunch and in the blue place we sat at, it was me, Barry, Jeffrey, Ethan, Sean, Fred, Michelangelo and Buddha, which aren't their real names. Fred, Sean and Ethan turned to Jeffrey and were like, come on man, you two are like bum buddies, don't argue. And then Barry was like to Jeffrey, I don't want to argue, and kept saying things like that. And Jeffrey was having none of it. He kept saying things like, listen, we both have a different opinion, so leave us alone. And then they were like, come on, this is stupid. I don't know if they made up then. I think they did, because then Barry goes, Jeffrey, I love you man. And then Jeffrey said with a little smile, but very dull, dully, replies back saying, I love you too. So then I thought it was cleared up. But then the next day, which was Tuesday, they were still weren't talking and I was literally like, still? But then I couldn't speak because mine and Barry's thing has been going on for four months. So then again today, actually not today, last week, Barry sat next to Alex and Connor and Jeffrey sat next to me. And I was expecting them two to speak to each other a little, but literally like they weren't. But apparently now they've made up, they made up like a couple of days ago. And I say this because I asked Jeffrey what he wants his name to be in the video. And he said to block Barry so he can't see it. So I told him uh, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind. And he was like, oh okay, but don't be biased now. We're cool now. Which is pretty cool, I guess. But that's pretty much the whole video. Don't know how long it will be. And if there's something I've missed, I'll probably make another video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you later. Peace.